everybody welcome back to my channel i'm andre dior the king of all of the madness if it's your first time ever seeing my face then you're definitely in the right place and we really have a really good time we're bougie and we're popping so join my gang andre army don't forget to subscribe because it is free and i promise you won't regret it <laughs> so of course you guys are like oh my god he's really uploading yes it's not a ghost today i will be doing a life update because i have been absent for about six or seven months so i will be updating you guys and telling you guys why i've been gone and what's been going on so if you want to hear and get into my business then keep on watching <laughs> sidebar if you hear a noise in the background like a windy sound or like what's that blowing my ac is currently on it is so hot i think it's like 92 degrees and i live in new york city so that's why i have it on because you know if i didn't i'd be sweating out okay <laughs> so just don't mind that noise so why have I been gone for six months? All right, so for starters, the top of the year, I wanna say January, I had something so like traumatic and dramatic. Like I'm not just being dramatic, like um, I had a situation where somebody, you know, who was very, very close to me, betrayed me and I feel like I didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I had to let that person go, even though I didn't want to. Because it's kind of sometimes when God is showing you like what's not for you and you're still trying to force it like, no, this is for me. So yeah, me and that person, well, they're not in my life anymore. We're, we're not beefing no more. We spoke about it, did the whole beefing, arguing thing. But I wish them the best of success, the best endeavors in life. Hopefully they do for me too. Who knows? <laughs> um, so that really messed me up. And I was kind of like, I don't want nobody around me. I didn't trust friends. I didn't trust family. I didn't trust people you date in. Because I'm just like, you don't know who's who. And I don't know if it's a pandemic thing. But that's like the third person that I want to say switched up on me since the whole coronavirus lockdown stuff. And... I feel like to have somebody, the person has been in my life for like, what, nine, ten years? Basically, like, my entire life. My, not my entire 24 years of existence, but since, like, diaper days. So, for me, I'm big on loyalty, and I know I'm Scorpio. So, if I feel like you betray or break my loyalty or my trust, I'm kind of like, I don't want to deal with you no more. And you can't sit with me no more because I'm heavy on the loyalty. I don't like the... Like, for me, I'm the type of person where you can tell me, yo, Dre, that person don't like me, that boy, that girl don't like me. You're not going to see me kiki with them. You're not going to see me hang out with them. I know a lot of grown-ups will do stuff like, oh, but I don't have beef with them. Why would you want to um, have interest or hang out with somebody that you know that doesn't like me and that talks about me? That's my whole logic. Like, you can't be... Trust it, because you're going to be around somebody entertaining, trash-talking me. Even though that wasn't the situation, but that's the example I'm giving you. Like, I'm very, very big on loyalty, and a lot of people don't, they're not big on loyalty. But yeah, so that happened, and I'm going to say in January, and I had completely shut down. Like, I was like, I'm not hanging out with nobody, I'm not texting nobody. <laughs> Nobody coming to my house. Nobody coming to my car. I'm not going to ask even nobody. We're not going to movies. We can't kick it no more. Like, when that happened, that situation had my guard, like, all the way up. I was like, everybody could be playing you. Are you dumb? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that was the first situation to why I felt like it broke me down into a complete depression and I didn't want to record. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want to... Um, I don't want to do anything. That's what depression is. Depression is you don't want to eat. You don't want to work out. You don't want to do anything. Because you're so depressed by whatever happened. Whatever situation broke you down. And throughout that situation... Not to be too spiritual on here. But to be too spiritual. 
actually found God. Like, I feel like I built a relationship with God, like a closer relationship. And I'm kind of on this new spiritual journey where I'm, like, protecting my energy. I'm praying more. I'm reading my Bible more. I'm going to church more. I'm going to Bible class more because I feel like God has transformed my life like a three like the stuff that he's done for me and the people that, and I noticed that God also allowed and removed certain people from my life or my vicinity for me to flourish because if they were still in my life I wouldn't be flourishing but yeah that's like the first thing that you know happened what's new in my life so I got a new car and I want to say it's happy year also like February 9th February 8th so I officially drive, you know, a white 2021 Mazda. <laughs> it's SUV. If y'all do not know, first car was a 2015 Honda. Not to brag, but it's just like it's touching because I remember praying and crying and used to being like, yo, I don't want to take the MTA no more. I don't want to get in a bus. I don't want to get in a train because it became so hostile and dangerous and when you like log on to Facebook or the news or CNN and you see all the crazy stuff going on with people getting knocked out and people sexually harassing people, you're like, I don't want to be on that. And besides, it would take me forever just to go to simple places. So now that I drive, oh, and I also have my driver's license, I got that, I want to say, what, two years ago now? Three years now, I have my driver's license. So the fact that I drive a brand new car in the current year that I am, that's like an accomplishment for me. It's very touching. I also was in a situation where I want to say April where um, my money slowed down, basically. Like with my businesses, everything was in a drought. You know, post pandemic, everybody's saving money. Nobody really shopping with your businesses. If you guys don't know, I officially um, do photography now. I'm a photo photographer. I also bought my first camera you already see the big boy the Canon 90D so I I do photography and I also have a sneaker cleaning business called clean feeds where I restore and clean people's dirty sneakers and stuff so when the pan when the heart of the pandemic everything slowed down so I was like damn money's tight bills is drying up I had to pray, cry, stick it out, level for credit cards, and God provided a way that right now I'm good. Like, my job fired me right before the holidays. Um, but right now, I am in one of the best places that I've ever been in my life financially, mentally. Um, it's about to be physically. I don't know if you guys know, but I've gained a t like a ton of weight <laughs> so i've officially started at the beginning of this month to eat healthy drink water no more fast foods um i'll be starting the gym when i come back from vacation I actually for a vacation this week this friday um oh i've also been traveling more i've been on three vacations so far since the summer has started i'm noticing i've noticed that traveling has also made me more calmer so i also think for my birthday i'm gonna travel traveling like, I've never been a nature guy, but I've always liked water in different places and different scenery. So now that I'm traveling more, it's made me such... It's brought me so much more peace now that I travel, you know? So I will be having a birthday vlog trip coming up in October. We in August now. But yeah. So... Right now, I don't... As of um, the situation, as I told you guys before, like that 10-year friendship... Um, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time, stop saying, stop making excuses for people. Stop saying maybe they was upset. Maybe they going through something. Maybe, no, they betrayed you because they don't rock with you how you think they rock with you. That's one thing I'm learning. So 2021 for me is, was all about growth and eye opening. Um, it's also it was also about figuring out what I want to do in my life. That was also making me depressed. I was like, what do I want to do, girl? Like, you're so talented. You have all these skills and gifts, and you're so like stagnant. You're hesitant. Um, because I felt like, what if they don't like it? 
What if no one's gonna buy it? No one's support it. No, but now I'm learning like I'm getting older. Whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. Just like how I started my two businesses. I'm a photographer now and I have a stay cleaning business. I also resell on the side and y'all know I still snatch faces and stuff. And I have my YouTube channel, Andre Army. I really love you guys for still rock with me and holding it down. And I also had conversations with very close people in my life. As I told you, like, my circle is uh, that now. That consists of maybe three people now. And my some of my loved ones, they've been telling me, like, yo, you're dope. Like, you're sleeping on yourself. Like, you... People in my life, <laughs> I love them so much, have to remind me, like, yo, not no cocky, y'all. Like, you're Andre Dior. Pull yourself up. Get in front of the camera. Do what you have to do. Run your businesses. Because you're nice. You're talented. You're smart. You have such a big head on your shoulders. And that day I was having a conversation with uh, an adult. And they were speaking about like, oh, so what do you want to do with your future? And what about college? It's like, I've never been a school guy my entire life. School has never been a fun place. Forget the bullying stuff. I'm talking about learning wise. I was never a good um, test taker. Like in remembering stuff. And from young, my plan in my head, just like, are you know how when you used to be in class and we used to ask you, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? I used to always write, I want to be an actor, entertainer, like in front of the camera, and I always want to run my own business. That's always been on my page since the second grade of my life. You understand what I'm saying? I never really wanted to work for anybody. I've worked a ton of BS jobs from like the retail and all of that, but. It's not for me. One, it's not worth it. You don't get paid enough. Two, they talk down to you. And three, I like making my own schedule, my own money, and being my own boss. And eventually, I'm going to have employees because that's going to be the next announcement. That's going to come very, very soon, early fall. Um, even though I now have these online businesses, my next business won't be online. All I'm going to say is that it's going to be... <laughs> It's gonna be a physical business. That's what I'm gonna. Um, I'm manifesting it. Um, I'm working towards it, savings, credit-wise, and everything. But I'm gonna have a physical business building soon. I'm not gonna say what it is, but stay tuned. Okay, remember, remember, I told y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to get my credit together, my skin together, my weight together. Like, I'm just trying to get my life together. Like, I'm in such a really good place. Right now, I'm in a place where um, I'm not tolerating disrespect. I'm not tolerating being walked all over. Right now, if you have negative energy, we can't hang out. We cannot be friends. If you're all about drama, if you're always talking about gossip or somebody else, you can't be in my space. We can't hang out. That's where I am right now. Right now, I'm about positivity, my spiritual journey. I'm about healthy um, exercise. Like, I'm just in a different place. Like, the growth and... If you haven't knew how much good stuff has been going on, as I say, life is perfect. But I'm so grateful to still be here. And I'm so grateful that God brought me through all of those stuff that I've been through in the last, what, six months? <sighs> and I'm happier. And I'm happier to be back, you know? And I'm no longer going to compare myself to other creators, other boys. You know, other people. Because it's like, sometimes I'll say to myself, like, why am I even doing this? Like, nobody's supporting talent. They're supporting the TikTok shit or the popular boys or the popular girls. who are not really talented, but they just have followers. Not knowing that I'm still unique in my own way and not to worry about that stuff. I'm so, like, I'm so... I don't even check for what the next person is doing no more. Like, I'm not in that space no more. I'm just all about spending more time with my family, my mental health, um, my spiritual journey, going to church, stacking my bread, stacking my credit, and running my businesses, and hanging out with the people that's really down for me, and I'm really down for them. They know who they are already, them three. Um, but yeah. But yeah, definitely shout out to my squad right now. They've really been really been holding it down shout out to malachi shout out to alan shout out to adler <laughs> i love y'all but um but now and then i do think about you know that 10-year friendship and i'm like hmm me and that person have spoken since then and had and it hasn't been any animosity but i still need to rethink is that a good move you know 
Because in the past, I had a tendency to where if someone, you know, crossed me or did me bad, I would be the one reaching out like, you know, it's okay. We can talk about it. No, we're not there no more, baby. I'm about to be 25. You play yourself or you just disrespect me. I just disrespect you or I just ignore you and move on and block. Like, I'm not doing the childish stuff anymore. But, yeah. So, I'm back. <laughs> but the hair is new, too. Shout out to my permanent and only hairstylist in New York City. Her name is Gina. And she eats me every time. Like, <laughs> Who did you hear? Gina. What's up, Gina? <laughs> so don't don't follow her on Gina. Gina's allure on Instagram and book her because she's ill. And I love each and every one of you for tuning in every single time. And you know, I took a couple time off and now it's game time, bitches. <laughs> Alright. But that's it. Bye y'all.